The Muscle Bar by Robert Wiedmeyer is located here in Revel in Atlantic City. And I'm honored to have Chef Dean Dupuy here with me to talk about this incredible restaurant. Chef, nice to see you. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate you coming in today. So, it's the Muscle Bar. We have to talk about that right off the top. Absolutely, let's do it. Is it something that Chef is known for in Robert Weedmeyer in, in Washington and you've brought it here to Atlantic City? He is. He's got a few places in uh, in D.C., down in Bethesda as well. Uh, the Muscle Bar, this is the second one. Uh, and he also has uh, Brasserie Beck, which is known for its muscles, a brasserie-style restaurant known for its muscles. And uh, it brings him back to his youth uh, and all of that. So he, he loves muscles, and we're going to do muscles everywhere. Everywhere he opens a restaurant, we're doing muscles. And you really do muscles right here. By the way, we're going to get to this. The Muscle Bar is more than just muscles, but listen, tell us about some of the different styles that you serve here. Well, we do obviously a classic muscle with uh, garlic and white wine, which everybody does, but we do ours better than, than the rest, I think. And, you know, wh why not? We get a great quality muscles and the best you can find. Uh, we get in, we do, we do a Thai muscle as well, a, a, a Thai curry with peanuts and cilantro, which is delicious. We have a Mediterranean, which has uh, merguez sausage, a smoky tomato broth and uh, artichokes, a little harissa aioli over the top, which is great. And we do a, uh, what else? We do a mushroom one with, uh, it's got some smoked bacon and a little truffle essence and uh, fresh parsley. It's just delicious. Bacon and truffle in mussels. Um, can't really go wrong with that. Well, you can't. I mean, that's a, that's a home run anyway. You want to put it, it's a home run. But you're more than just mussels. Now, I just, I just had your burger, Chef. Oh, good. Your Kobe burger. Good. And you're going to explain it. And I'm going to say this to my NJ.com audience. That's one of the top burgers I have ever had in my life. And I've eaten burgers not only here, but in the Caribbean, in Mexico, in this country. This burger fell apart in my mouth. The The bun was incredible, I guess, house-baked. Talk about it. Well, the burger has become quite a phenomenon. Uh, who, who would have thought Muscle Bar would have been known uh, as a burger place as well? But uh, the owner wanted to put a burger on, so I said, he said only if it would be the best burger in town. And I said, sure, I'm up to that challenge. So we decided to do it. Uh, we put on, uh, our, it's a house ground beef. Uh, we use uh, Kobe, Kobe beef, which is you know the best of the best. Uh, I sourced some really great product. We grind it here. It's two different cuts. Um, we put it together. We use uh, chuck roll and brisket, short rib at times as well. Um, we pack our, our, our patty real real carefully together so it's not not tight too many people pack their patty together real tight so it's not tender that explains the yeah, fall yeah, apart fall in my out. mouth that's what you want you want it to fall apart in your mouth you want it to kind of run down your face a little bit yeah. right and uh we, that, that's how we do we season it just with salt and pepper we make our bun here we make it we do a tomato jam over the top which has a, some, a little bit of barbecue sauce in it and some cinnamon and some sugar ginger juice actually all cooked down into a nice jam kind of it's kind of our ketchup but uh it's so much more and, and you it, know you said the the the, the jam <sighs> Wow, it was like kind of an afterthought with this. You say, well, we put a, a jam on there. Actually, this plays a big part in the burger. It really is just an amazing part of this, uh, uh, this incredible design. Well, you know, it's like uh, I, I eat ketchup on my burgers. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm a purist. I eat just ketchup, you know, mustard and, and, and cheese. Um, and, and I think that you have to have a ketchup, sort of, a ketchup sort of component on there. So for me, ketchup is sweet and tomatoey. This is our tomatoes, local tomatoes cooked down whenever possible, cooked down slowly, two different types of tomatoes with lots of ingredients and, and lots of spice and flavor. So it kind of has that sweet and tangy tomato, you know, ness about it, which uh, is kind of ketchup-like, but, uh, you know, I think on a whole other level. How about the crab cakes? Now, you have them on the menu as well. We do, we do and, uh, you know, a lot of places have crab cakes. I, I think, you know, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say ours was the best in the world. Uh, we get in great Louisiana crab. It's uh, all fresh, the best I can find. I mean, it's never frozen, absolutely the pristine product. And we just do it, you know, we, we, we treat the ingredients with, uh, you know, with, with respect. It's just a little lemon, little Dijon mustard, chives, lemon juice. I don't know if I said that, but uh, that's it. Serve simply a little bit of egg and uh, breadcrumb to hold it together. It's 95% meat, and it's just uh, it's just really great. I mean, around town here, a lot of places you go, you know, there's a lot of. We've actually had guests come here and say ours had too much crab. You know, people are used to. Filler. How can you have too much crab? I don't understand. It's like having either. too much bacon. You can't have too much bacon. <laughs> I don't either. understand it either. But I, that happened the other day, and I was like, I think folks are used to, you know, what you get around town a lot of times is yeah. the filler and things. Ours is almost all crab, and it's delicious. It's really great. And when I said more than just mussels, we talked about the crab. We talked about the burger. Right. You've got a pork chop. We do. We have. It's we the to, other white meat. 
you know what? I mean, look, look at me. I'm, I'm a pork chop kind of guy. So we uh, get a pork from uh, Fudge Farms down in uh, Henry Fudge. Does this, this, this Amish pork? It's Amish Berkshire pork down in Alabama. It's the best pork I've ever had in my life. So we get it shipped up here, and we we grill it up and serve a little a little warm potato salad and onion marmalade, and it's it's just great. It's really really great. I'm proud to have it here. Chef, I thank you for spending a few Thanks minutes. Very much. This is the Muscle Bar in Revel, Atlantic City. When you're in town, this is a must-see in AC. Mark Berman with Chef Dean for NJ.com.